everyone, today we are jumping right in. We are reviewing the Shark Cordless Rechargeable Floor and Carpet Sweeper. I had heard many people talk about cordless vacuums and I just never thought they would work super well, but today is the day I'm going to find out if this works awesome and you guys are going to come along for the ride with me. But first I want to take everything out of the box and show you guys just everything that comes with this. I know it kind of helps if you already have your own to see what came with it to see if you're missing anything, so I'm going to show you each thing piece by piece. Once I had everything out of the box and laid out in front of me, I could see that I really didn't need to look at the directions. It's very straightforward, not intimidating at all, so don't worry about the assembly process. It's going to be smooth sailing. Just a heads up, you will have to charge this for 7 hours before you use it. Alright guys, I'm just going to let this charge for the 7 hours like they recommended and then we're going to jump right into testing it out on the floors. I was really surprised at how quiet this was. Here, listen real quick. So far I'm really loving that this thing is so compact in the front and narrow. It gets underneath the oven really well, the refrigerator, and then underneath the cabinets which it's usually an awkward space anyway. It's just getting right in there and getting all those crumbs, cobwebs, and things that get neglected underneath there. So that is a big plus for me, a 10 out of 10. Because I'm a weirdo and I like showing you guys how well this works, I'm gonna crush up a few things and see how well they get sucked up by this vacuum. What else do we have in here that we can crush up? I don't wanna take my daughter's crunchies cause she'll know and she'll be super mad. Cheerios, eh, why not? First up, a chip. Second step, crush it. Ow, that kind of hurt, Jesus. Am I bleeding? Sprinkle it on the floor. Okay, so we got Cheerios, we got potato chips, and we got pasta. Let's see how this thing will do. Oh my gosh, it picked up literally every single thing. I was kind of worried about the pasta. Let's see what it looks like in here. It picked up every single thing. Wow, that literally surprises me. Woo! Are you finding this review helpful? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you are. So this thing worked really well even on my staircase. All I had to do was turn it to the side and then it got everything that I needed to. I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys because this thing, it is really awesome, but it's not 100% perfect. We have mainly wood floors on our bottom floor of our house, and I noticed when I was vacuuming, I had to go over some areas two or three times to get everything up. 
So that's the only downfall. It is really cool that it can get in like very narrow spaces, but it's just not um, as powerful as I wish it was. Cause if it was, you know, just a little bit more um, powerful, it would be getting up all those different things and you wouldn't have to go over the same spot numerous different times. With this vacuum, it's super duper light. So when I was going up and down the stairs, it wasn't even a bother at all. With our other vacuum, I can't imagine it would be over 20 pounds, but after carrying it up and down the stairs, it does get obviously super heavy after a while. With this one, you don't have that problem. So even my 91 year old grandmother would be fine using this. Okay, now I'm just going to give you my thoughts and opinions on this little vacuum. The downfall to this is if you have long hair like me, it's going to get wrapped around the bristles on the inside, so you are going to have to take scissors and cut those out. You're going to have to do that kind of often because with me, I've noticed I've had to cut the hair out of it twice, <laughs> which you would have to do in a normal vacuum as well. So I guess that's the downside to any vacuum really. In corners, this vacuum is not going to be of any use, but with a regular vacuum, you have like a detachable hose that you can get in with all the nooks and crannies. This one, obviously you don't have that, but you can definitely just use like a handheld broom, sweep out your corners and go through and vacuum with this little guy. It doesn't create that much extra work, but I don't know. I thought the price point was really awesome on this. It's very affordable. From what I read, the charge lasts over an hour, which that should be plenty of time. But usually what I do whenever I'm done vacuuming my house, I just plug it right back in so I don't forget. Because I know if I don't plug it in, I'll forget and then it won't be charged and then I won't be able to use it. But let me know what you think. Do you think you would consider buying this vacuum? If you have it, let me know your opinions on it in the comments. My Morgies, thank you so much for watching my video. I always appreciate you being here. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And if you really like my channel, consider subscribing. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.